But what I know is I'm feeling just fine My life is like a red carpet And I'm feeling like the richest me in This is my local man And I'm the biggest star around here What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. No one was surprised by this. I left it alone. I thought I was like, you know what? I'll not talk about it. I'll talk about something else. But the Nora Martinez and the De Leon or whoever the other people are, this is why, you know, and I've talked about this Black Brown Coalition thing a long time ago. Um, and the the rapper, the, the the Mexican rapper was like, I'll never sign with the blacks. This is why in the future, people are really gonna see um, a serious separation. You know, not necessarily, you know, as far as groups go. Now you might have individuals who are cool, but, but even with the individuals being cool, gonna, there's going to be a thing where me and you cool, but I already know me and your group ain't cool. So I'm not going to try to recreate what we got with the world because it don't work that way. And you're going to see people get offended. Like, what? Like, it, it's going to come to a point where, and I was talking to, I was talking, me and my lady were having this conversation about uh, business. And how other groups who are non-white or, or, and non-black, you know, Hispanics, Asians, Middle Easterners, they get in business because of their immigrant status or whatever, or their or, or civil rights, and they undercut us. But the thing about it is the white people who they who their bread is buttered from because sometimes because they act like they don't like them but they do from what I've seen the white people don't really rock with them like that and it's it's, it's becoming to come to a point where doing business with other people of color has is starting to backfire. And what I mean by that is this. There's no honor. There's no integrity. Now, now it's crazy to have white people want honor and integrity with their history, but now when they're the when they're financially backing everything and they're seeing, man, um these people don't do good business. Um they they they're scam artists. As a matter of fact, you know, they're at, and, at, and because of this, they're costing us money. And because they're costing us money, and, you know, we've effectively pushed out the blacks, you know, because everybody says, so they, like the lady, after that, here's with the blacks. Well, what these other groups effectively did with white people was, you know, the white people, we don't want the, the blacks. To have anything and the non and the people of color, we can make, give it to us and we'll make sure the blacks don't get anything. And it sounds like a good idea for for the haters. But the problem is when you put two quote unquote toxic groups together, or three or four toxic groups together, when the blacks aren't around, then who do they see now they have nobody to drop off. The shenanigans too. So now they don't have, you know, if they run a, if the white people give them a the business and now they run it into the ground, they're going to give it to a Hispanic or they're going to give it to a, an Asian or they're going to give it to an Arab, Arab and they fluctuate between each other and they've for years just screwed each other over and they've all blamed us for it. <gasps> I just got in a bad deal because you know, I got a bad contract from this. Asian guy to this Arab guy. You know why? It's because of the blacks. Okay. And they've been playing this game so long that to, for them groups together, it makes sense. But it's kind of like when we're not in the room for such a long period of time, 
they have to address each other. And it's like, oh my God, it's you. It's you. I can't F with you. Forget you. So now you got this, you know, you know, Asians are trying to separate themselves. They've always been able to do that because they're quote unquote the model minority or whatever. But they're starting to uh, ruin the situation because they're, you know, issues and underworld issues and political issues make them a target now. Hispanics, um, I saw a video on YouTube, a short on YouTube about, you know, um, marijuana being legalized and how cartels are in California just growing like crazy, shooting at the farmers and this, that, and the third. But that's a crime you don't hear people talking about because they're shooting at the farmers who are, who are Americans who legally grow and they're shooting at the police. But let, but on the news, all you get is black on black crime. So to keep up the the facade, we got to be to blame for everything. And this is why I'm not surprised by any of this. But the bottom is going to fall out of all these situations because if you want black on black crime to stop and, you know, to stop, you're going to have to, end, you know, uh, and you think it's all surrounded by the drug trade. Well, if you stop the drug trade, look how these other groups act. Use the, the 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 great white people, the great model minority Asian, the great uh, Hispanic people, the great uh, uh, Middle Eastern or Arab people. They're so great, but if you let their criminals go, not eat, or it's going all hell's going to break loose. And you see it, so I, I'm not surprised by all of this stuff. But y'all going to be surprised by how this ends. But tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.